Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to set up SD Caffeine on your Wii U. This is my third video in my Smash modding series for Wii U, so make sure you watch the first and second video before watching this one. So now you might be asking, what does SD Caffeine even do? Well, it allows the Wii U to access the mod files on the SD card and put it into the game. This step is very easy and it's also the last step until we can start modding the game. But of course, if you need any help, you can ask me or anyone else on my Discord server. The link to that is down below. But now let's get started and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. The first thing you have to do is click the link below named SD Caffeine and it will take you to this Google Drive page. Download the file, then save it to your desktop. Extract the folder to your desktop, then open your Wii U's SD card. Navigate to the Wii U folder and then the Apps folder. Now all you have to do is copy this SD Caffeine folder to the Apps folder. Once you've done that, eject the SD card and put it back into your Wii U while it's turned off. Now on the Wii U, we're going to open the Homebrew Launcher. And then we're going to load the SD Caffeine app. Once you've done that, you should be kicked back to the home menu. At this point, we're going to launch the game from the home menu. And you should see that any mods or mod packs you've installed on the SD card should be showing in the game now. But there are a few things I should let you know about SD Caffeine before we finish. Number one is when you turn your Wii U off, you'll have to run SD Caffeine again to apply the mods. Number two is that the mods on the SD card can't permanently change anything in the game apart from save data. If you choose not to run SD Caffeine when you turn your Wii U on or forget to insert the SD card, the game will play as normal without any mods. And now that we've finished all three steps, we can finally start modding the game with custom characters, custom music, custom stages and so on. I'll link those videos down below once I've made them. Well, that's all for today. My name is Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.